Right, now then. Do you like the castle, by the way? Shipton Castle. Okay. Double glazing. Huh? So none of the arrows of the enemy could actually penetrate. It just bounce off the windows, you see? Hmm? Never seen a castle with double glazing. And uh, they call this um, an original castle. <laughs> Vayek, double glazing went back a bit, didn't it? Now then. Um, yes. Okay. What it is that I'd like to speak out against is the misuse. Okay, I'm sure some will misuse, misunderstand, misinterpret what I have just said, that word. The misuse of common law. Now when I refer to common law, I'm referring back to what used to be called natural law. The common law movement will not use the term natural law because that indicates that there is a law giver. The foolish thing about it is that their law, common law, common law of the land is created by man. But that's what they're supposed to be fighting against. Man's law. Well, yeah, you know, legalism isn't, isn't common law. You can't do it to me. It's man-made law. It's legalese. So is common law, you puddin'. Common law is another term for case law, judge-made law. Hmm? Get your terms right. Before you open your piggy mouth. And of course, those who come along and say, Oh, officer, officer, you can't do me, I'm under common law, not man's law, acts of parliament. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excuse me whilst I just, just smoke this in front of you. It's, it's a funny stuff, but still, it, it gives me. Gives me that edge, you know. <laughs> yeah, you know, those type of persons need to be taken out of society. Lazy in their speech, lazy to form proper sentences, lazy to communicate properly, decently, courteously before other people. A disgrace when they face authority. Because when they face authority, they have painted every member of an authority as the same. That is an absolute disgrace. Where did they get the authority to treat every person as being bad in this particular case as one another so that when they put, go to say a counsellor oh, they attack him go to a police officer they attack him they go and they attack 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 their murderous ignorant violent hearts attack all in the name of common law they're too damn lazy even to take what they call common law, natural law as it truly is, and to set it in its context. They're so damned lazy and so sodding high up on whatever they're picking smoking. They are a disgrace. Utter, utter disgrace. They are painting every official as being evil. Not understanding that by doing so, 
they are showing themselves as being evil. Persons who I and anybody else that has any decency and respect to give others their lawful right, which they are being denied by these buggers, the lawful right to be innocent until proven guilty. Oh, but these mouthy buggers think they're being good in strutting around and saying, oh, copper this and copper that and cop this. You're denying them their lawful right to even be classed, seen as, accepted as decent, honest, hard-working people. And now you've just hit the piggy roof and said, Oh, you're, you're for the police. What are you, a copper? <laughs> Part of the fuzz? Huh? No, but I can, t I can tell you something, matey boy. If you've been persecuted as much as I have, and even flung into prison as I have, on false charges by the police, you'd have something to say against the police, that they're all corrupt. But even so, I do not take the attitude and neither do any level-headed, decent, honest, straight speaking people. Take your attitude. Oh, <laughs> you know, it's easy to do so. I treat every officer individually. I treat every council official individually. I take every piece of authority and every individual in society individually because natural law says to do so. You don't. Okay? Because you're under man-made law, not natural law. Common law. Man made common law. That's why you are the way you are. Okay? You've not got natural law, natural decency. No respect. And common law. Love thy neighbour as thyself. Doesn't come from it. Love thy neighbour as thyself, which you haven't when you are attacking people unjustifiably with your hatred, comes from natural law. It is naturally born in each and every one of us, as natural as we accept from an extremely young age, right and wrong. We do not have to be taught it. We do not have to go into lecture rooms. We do not have to sit on the internet and listen to somebody tutoring us into what is right and wrong. The natural, inalienable law is within us. You don't accept that. You accept common law. Judge made law. Case law. Three terms for the same thing. Man made law. Now, as I say, I should have the, the, the biggest chip upon my bigging shoulder against the police. I haven't. I treat each and every one individually, as I expect them to do to me, and you to me, but you don't, okay? And I've had some fun with the police leading on this way and that when I found them to be stupid I found some decent officers because there are some decent officers and we've gone like a house on fire but when it comes to the corrupt officers boy they are something else and I love to play games with the buggers just to show how stupid they are 
I had a period of a time of almost a year of officers coming to my door at least twice, three times a week. Almost a year. Have you heard this? You so-called brave ones, eh? Come to arrest me. From Trump on um, charges that they trumped up and uh, I used to show them the door after, after saying, all right, okay, where's the evidence? Did my the officer, where's the evidence? If you've got no evidence, goodbye, here's the door, totty, totty bye, and they bugger off. And that was all because the, the, the actual police force at the time, of which I reported to the Home Office and they got sanctioned as being unfit for purpose, was into dealing with drugs. They were in with the drug dealers and I'd complained about a drug dealer. They actually had to leave off the police eventually because I had the Home Office on their back. And those officers were dispersed, as far as I'm aware, throughout other counties. Okay, I took on MPs, councillors, housing managers, and the police. And won. So I have no favour, for no favour for the police. Even now, I'm in a a case of prosecuting. Prosecuting, you know? Taking matches to the police authority and officers lined up for prosecution. I've got them all picking lined up to be prosecuted. Papers have gone in. I've got to see the magistrate in a couple of weeks to have the Warrants issued for their arrest. So out goes your excuse. Because I tell the truth. I tell it as it is. Your excuse that I favour the police. I favour justice. I favour decency. I favour honesty. Straight talking. And I understand that things that I may say run so contrary to the common mind that they are rejected. Well, let it be. It's still the truth. Okay? Settled truth. I can only speak what is evidently settled truth truth against a corrupt society. And I said, let's come back to this.